Grinch cookies today for Christmas. And who doesn't love the Grinch? So that's three quarters of a cup of butter, unsalted, softened. Hope if I lock it. How come I, for some reason, can't get it to lock? Am I pushing it the wrong way? There we go. I'm pushing it the wrong way. Okay. And three quarters cup sugar is going in. Okay, so I'm going to cream them together. And <clears throat> then it's going to take about a minute. So it has to get fluffy, fluffy. Floofy, floofy. So this is looking good. It's stuck. <laughs> but it's looking good. It's all mixed together. This thing is by Pampered Chef if you're interested. And it's a peanut butter and jelly thing. It's not what I'm using it for, but that's what we do use it for. And it is, we love it. Okay, so now this part is done. We're going to add one egg plus one yolk. One egg plus one yolk. That's vanilla, which is one teaspoon. Okay, here's one teaspoon, oh, plus a little extra, we like vanilla here, so it's okay, alright, so, oh, then I'm adding, in this bowl, <clears throat> I have half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, tartar, and half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm putting that in now. But I'm gonna make sure I use this. Make sure I don't leave anything behind because we want the whole thing in. And now, Let's just mix this for right now and then I'll add the flour and stuff. So now I'm adding two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. And then we're going to mix that and add the uh, green coloring. Okay. So now this is the scary part for me. I'm adding the green. So this green, I couldn't get like a cute lime green. So this can go from a cute Grinch Christmas cookie to a spooky, scary Halloween cookie if I add too much. So I have to be very careful. And with this particular kind, I always buy these ones. It's very, the color's very strong. So you have to be so, so careful. And you start with just a little bit. Like, that's a lot. I'm definitely scared about what I'm about to do. 
you should use less than what I'm using to start because it's easier to add more you can't really take out and it dyes your fingers okay so let's start it and see how it goes Okay, so here's what we're doing. My trusty, um, what is that called? Helper. Helper, thank you. My trusty helper is going to uh, put the balls on here. And then we will put them in the oven that is preheated to 350. Okay. Thank you, trusty helper. You want about a tablespoon size. We're just rolling it in a ball, throwing it on the thing. Put it in the oven, 350. And then we will put the hearts on once it comes out of the as soon as it comes out of the oven two, about two inches apart I think as he said okay. and what I did was I was able to find the hearts because you look like in the Valentine's Day stuff. I was able to find it now. I don't know as it gets closer to Christmas if they're going to be harder to find. That I'm not sure. But mine are pink and red. And we will do bold. So thank you to my helper. These have to go into a preheated 350 degree oven for 11 to 15 minutes. And I'm not sure if they'll both fit. Let's see. Oh, 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 yeah, they're gonna fit. No, no, no. Put one on the other top. There you go. Okay. So we will be back in, let's do 11, 11 minutes, 12 minutes. We'll be back in 12 minutes. My sound effects guy ain't here. <laughs> I was on the phone when all this was going on, so <laughs> I have to do a voiceover. <laughs> um, so the cookies got out of the oven, and now I am putting the hearts in. I'm doing the pink and the red. I'm not separating them. It really doesn't matter. So, I'm just sticking them in. As you can see here. And all the little cookies. 
<clears throat> and by the way, these little hearts are not super hard, like break your teeth hard. And they're like, they have like a marshmallow taste to them. They're pretty good, actually. So here are all the cookies. They're all done. They all have their hearts in them. Look how cute. I tried to put them off to the side because I see everybody does that. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll do that. Some are in the middle. But look how cute it is. I really like them. And guys, these were so good. The kids okay, absolutely so love my them. Taste tester tasted one and said that they taste like sugar cookies. And they're absolutely delicious and fluffy. And that's it. So there you go. French cookies. Okay, so this is the hearts that I got. They're little pink and red. And then beads if you want them. They came together. There's nothing I can do. And that's what I got. Sprinkle mix. From Walmart. Mm -hmm.